Okay, I'll sit with you. Hang on. Work-life balance can be pretty hard, especially when you're a work at home now. Blah, 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 blah. Work-life balance can be pretty hard, especially when you're... Work-life balance can be pretty hard, especially when you're a work-at-home mom or work-at-home dad, but it's important that you make family time a priority, because it's obviously way more important than coming in on the weekend to finish those TPS reports. You might remember a couple months ago when we tried to come up here to Confederation Park in North Burnaby to ride the miniature train, only to find that they're only open on the weekends. So it's taken us a couple months to come back, but we're here and we're gonna go ride the train. Right, Addy? Hi, can we get the, uh, the ten? Sure. Do you want to go ride the train? Yes. Okay, we have to wait in line though, okay? Yeah, we have to wait. We wait, we wait our turn, okay? Okay. Another great little hidden gem here in North Burnaby in Confederation Park just north of Penzance Road. Uh, there's this nature trail that you can kind of see behind me. And there's Addie playing with her rocks and sticks. Say hi Addie. Hi. So there's a great little escape from this city and as Dr. Scott Sampson says, uh, get into nature and make your own discoveries. Uh, especially when you work from home, it's really easy to develop that sense of urban cabin fever. It's great to get out here into nature smell the fresh air, check out the trees, and walk through the sunshine. Great little way to spend the weekend. A few days ago, my friend Grace got all excited because she got a reply via Twitter from Al Roker and I replied back to her by showing her that I actually got Al Roker's autograph several years ago. I subsequently shared that image on other social networks like Instagram and on Facebook and some of you have expressed some interest in seeing the rest of my autograph collection. It was a lifetime ago, but for a stretch of several years, I was, I wouldn't really say obsessed, but I was very interested in collecting as many celebrity autographs as I could. This was back in the day when I had to write physical letters. Well, I still printed them out, like I typed them up and printed them out. But these letters would be sent through the postal service, through regular snail mail, believe it or not, with the hope that I'd get a signed headshot back. A lot of these came back empty, obviously, but some of them did reply and I've amassed a fairly decent, if modest collection over that stretch of several years. So I thought I'd show some of that collection to you now, which I've put together in. Yes, it is a Pooh Bear photo album, but it was a great way to keep all of my autographs together. So let me show these to you now. Uh, maybe if we turn the camera around over here. Kind of in hindsight, I wish I'd put dates next to all the autographs because I'm not 100% positive when I collected all of them. And they're presented here in no particular order. All right, so opening things up. First one we have here is from Jay Leno, back in his Tonight Show days. This was before I learned about what happened between him and David Letterman and well before his controversy with Conan O'Brien. You notice his autograph there? Part of it is a caricature with his chin. Over here was the autograph from Al Roker that I posted on Facebook a while ago. And you'll notice that his autograph, it says Michael, and he drew a, a sun emoji for me there well before emojis were even a thing or a movie. Here's one that's very special to me, Bob Barker. As I said in the vlog a couple of weeks ago, a lot of what I know about life was shaped by the WWF and The Price is Right. 
So Bob Barker has played a very important role in my childhood, reminding me to make sure you get your pets spayed or neutered. Bill Gates, who was temporarily dethroned as the richest man in the world, but I think he's back on top now, but he might have been bumped back down by uh, Bezos again. But anyway, best wishes, Bill Gates. The autograph looks kind of fake, but it did come from the Microsoft offices, but it just looks like a very generic kind of lettering. Former Canadian Prime Minister, Jean Chrétien, I think his was the only one that used silver ink to do his autograph, which is kind of neat. Conan O'Brien, this was back in his late night days over at NBC before he jumped over to The Tonight Show temporarily before moving over to where he is now at TBS, along with his sidekick buddy, Andy Richter. I think these are two of my favorites. Here is former uh, Governor General of Canada, Romeo LeBlanc. He Personalize this one, it says to Michael Kwan, and it's also dated. So either January 9th, 1999, or September 1st, 1999, I'm not entirely positive. Here's one that's very special. It's not only personalized and saying to Michael, but it is the one and only Johnny Carson. I actually didn't watch too much of The Tonight Show during the Carson era, but I know how big of a role he's played in Late Night, and it is a very special part of my collection here. Uh, Co-host of 2020, uh, with Barbara Walters, Mr. Hugh Downs, and it is personalized, says to Michael. And yes, I do have Oprah's autograph. Down at the bottom here, it says copyright 1998 Harpo Productions. I thought this was kind of fun. It's not personalized, it doesn't say Michael or anything, but uh, Jim Carrey did leave a note that says, spank you very much. That's very Jim Carrey of him. Here's another great one, Bob Hope. I guess I was collecting some government people at the time. So after Romeo LeBlanc, I sent a letter to pretty much the same address to ask for the autograph from his successor, uh, the Right Honorable Adrian Clarkson as the Governor General of Canada. Jean-Claude Van Damme, I watched so many of his movies during the 90s. And it says, to your friends always, Van Damme. Over here we have Kelsey Grammer back in his Frasier days. The autograph actually comes by way of uh, Paramount Pictures. Uh, finally, I guess the last couple here. I, I do remember when I got this one. This from the BC Lions. It's Mr. Louis Pisaglia. He was the kicker for the BC Lions for a great number of years. And that was, I, I got this one in 2002 when I was working with the United Way, uh, collecting donations for our community. Uh, we managed to get Mr. Pisaglia to attend a special fundraising event and he was giving an autograph, so naturally I got my own. And last but not least, back when the beat, I think this was back when the beat was still had more of like a hip hop kind of slant to it rather than the top 40 that they're doing now. But here's the, the fall program schedule. Does it have a date? Uh, oh, up here, 2002. And I got the autograph from uh, Nira Aurora and DJ Alibaba. All right, you guys, that wraps things up for another week. Thanks so much for joining me on this week's vlog. Smash that like button if you like what you see. Smash that like button if you don't like what you see. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do put up a new video every Monday. Again, thanks for joining me, and I will see you all next week. Mm, smash!